Hello everyone. I'm uh, going to make hot wings, but I don't have any hot wings. All I have is thighs, so we'll make hot thighs. <laughs> so we want to start out by preheating the, preheat the oven. We want to make sure there's nothing in there. And then we're going to set it on convection bake and 425 degrees. There we go. That right, should be warm by the time we come back. Now, the things we're going to need is chicken. A plastic bag. Check and make sure there's no holes in it. Then I took a pizza pan and put aluminum foil on it and then put this cooling rack so we can put the chicken on there so it'll cook uniformly. Then we'll need measuring spoons. We need a measuring cup. Need cornstarch, some vinegar, it can be rice vinegar or apple cider or whatever you got, and onion powder and garlic powder, and chicken seasoning, but smell it. It's a chicken seasoning like uh, Colonel Sanders would use, not like uh, your grandma uses for stuffing. Okay, then you have black pepper, breadcrumbs. I'm using Louisiana Supreme Chicken Wing Sauce, but you can use whatever kind you have or whatever kind you like. And then tomato ketchup. Okay, so that's it. Now let me put the camera down for a minute and we'll get going. So first of all, you want to take the plastic bag and the breadcrumbs. You don't want about a half a cup of bread crumbs. That one's about right, right there. Half a cup of bread crumbs and then I'll go with two, two tablespoons of corn starch. Now then, oh, I was looking for the paprika and I never found it, so it's yeah. a minute. I have found the paprika, as you can see. And we're going to add two tablespoons of paprika. some of this away so it doesn't get in the way. Now what you want to do is rinse the chicken. Place it in the bag. Some people like to take the skin off the chicken. I always like the skin, so I can't imagine why I would take it off. But of course, if that's how you like it, then go ahead and take it off. Of course, I'm using thighs because they don't have wings. But that's alright. I should uh, taste this fine. Chickens in the bag, you can take this and throw it away. Now then, put the chicken up here and take all this, shake it around a little bit, and pour it right in. Now, close the bag up so none of the stuff comes out. Kind of like that. 
we'll just turn the bag over and over. Wonderfully coated. This needs to be fairly coated. Yeah. Put it here, skin side up. That's it. That's alright. It'll all go. Now then, here we are. I have still a whole bit of seasoning in the bottom here. Rib, rib crumbs. Okay. Take those out. Put them right on there. There we are. Now, throw the bag away. Clean it up just a little bit. Alright, now, we'll take the chicken, as you can see, it's all coated now, and we'll put it in the oven. There we go. Now, once it's in there, then we gotta preheat it again, or redo it again anyway. 425, and we're gonna give it I'm gonna give it an hour. There we go. Okay, so 425 for an hour. Now, it's time to make the sauce, so I'm going to go away for just a second and get everything ready.
half a cup. Oops, it's not open. more things they make that's impossible to open. I don't know what you do if you go on a camping trip or something. You just die in the woods, I guess, because <laughs> you can't get anything open. Okay, so this is going to be a half cup of this. One quarter, two quarters, that's a half. all the time. It'll get thicker as I start. So now I have got another ingredient here. That's alright. I'll get it right now. I need uh, brown sugar. This is light brown sugar. That will do just fine. Okay, for that, a half cup of brown sugar. This can be dark brown sugar, light brown sugar, even granulated sugar, but if you use granulated, don't use a, a whole half a cup, use a quarter of a cup. So, put that in there. Half teaspoon of black pepper. And then the chicken seasoning I was telling you about, the one that smells like Colonel Sanders, not the one that smells like my grandmother's turkey dressing. So that we want to add, uh, let's go with a tablespoon full. There we go. Alright. Keep stirring this because the cornstarch is in there, it'll start to get thick. And that's what you want it to do.
Okay, we gotta put some stuff away and wait till the chicken's done, but I'll be back. I hope this turns out good, because there's nothing more embarrassing than put something on TV <laughs> or on Facebook and it not be good. So anyway, we'll, we'll keep trying. <laughs> so anyway, I'll be right back. So now, as you can see, the chicken is ready. Well, we'll just reach right in here. Take it out. At his current pace, Bob will retire when he's 153. Looks like it came out real hot. Real hot. <laughs> okay, we'll close the oven back up. And then, okay, let me play it. Let me play it. Let me set the camera down right here. <coughs> so now, We'll set this right here in the middle. I'm going to get a pair of palms. Put the chicken right around the outside here. Okay, a little bowl in the middle, of course, is for blue cheese dressing. Well, I don't have any of that, so it's going to be that. So that's the dipping sauce. There we go, a little ranch dressing. Then, I'm going to take the sauce that's been simmering all this time. Pour it on the chicken. That smells good. Save a little bit of sauce because it's still a couple pieces of chicken left. Okay, so that's that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll move this out of the way. I'm going to serve this with it. It's asparagus with a, two tablespoons of, in this case, a spread because I don't have butter. And then, uh, teaspoon of onion powder and then almonds. They always want slivered almonds. I don't have slivered almonds. I just have whole almonds. So if that's what you got, go with it. <laughs> we'll put that in here for three minutes. You don't want to cook uh, I mean, uh, asparagus a long time. It's uh, very fragile. Okay, so It's almost dinner time, <laughs> and uh, I don't know how this will be, but I hope it came out all right. Everything stayed on film, right? So I'll show it to you again when I get ready to serve it here. All right, well, folks, here's the finished asparagus. Mayweather versus Mike Donna, Saturday Direct TV pay per view. Don't miss it. Mayweather versus Mike Donna. There we are. It's gonna be my dinner tonight. So, I'll load this up so you guys can see it. And, uh, well, bon appetit. <laughs>